Hello, thank you for joining me today. I go by Miscellaneous, and today we're going to be going over Procreate. If you've used Procreate, you probably realize that there's a slight problem. In the Actions tab, you can turn on a drawing grid. That's nice, right? Having a drawing grid, uh, you can keep your lines straight, your angles, your proportions, you know, down to over 4, up 5, over 7. Whatever it may be, the drawing grid really helps keep you on track. And one thing that you've probably noticed is that you can't use the grid and the symmetry at the same time. I, I think that that's uh, a little problematic because I would really like to be able to use my grid but also have the symmetry running at the same time. I've done a little bit of research and I've found that there's other people that are having similar issues so I decided to make a video on it. So I've got a little workaround that works for this. It's not perfect, but it's nice. So. Um, what I like to do is, up in the Actions bar, uh, with your Actions tool, I like to turn on the uh, Drawing Grid, and then we'll edit it. I like to change the grid so that it's slightly smaller than what I would actually want. And you'll know why here in a minute. So, um, if, if normally where I would want it is probably somewhere there, I'm going to go down to about right there. And I'm going to click Done. Then what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of that grid, move that out of the way, and I'm going to go back and turn the drawing grid off. What I'll then do is open up layers. I'm going to add a layer and select layer one. On layer one, I'll go back to my actions tool, and then I'm going to add and insert a photo. And uh, you guessed correctly, I'm going to add that grid that I just put on there. I'm going to place the, the grid on here, kind of square. And I'll remove my selection tool and go to layers, select layer two, and go to actions. We're going to go back to the canvas and turn the drawing grid back on. Now this time, we're going to go in symmetry. I'm going to change the thickness of that line all the way up. And the opacity is also going to be all the way up. Max opacity, max thickness. And then I'm going to click done. Now I can take my grid by using the selector tool, going back to layer one, and then I can select the grid. I'm gonna move the grid so that the center, one of the lines, lines up with the symmetrical tool, just like that. And we are done, we'll deselect. Now we can go back to, and this is important, make sure you go back to layer two so that you can begin your drawing because at the end what we're going to do is actually remove the background image. And you'll see what I mean. So we'll take this, we'll grab our drawing tool, and we can follow on the grid. And as you can see, it's perfectly symmetrical. Just like that. We'll go down. Like that. Just like that. And now whenever you go up and you remove the background, you don't have the grid any longer. And you'll have a symmetrical tool. In the end, what you're going to end up doing is turning off the drawing guide, and there you have it. Just like that. So that's it. That's all it is. Um, that's what I found that works for me. I can't really find anything else. Uh, but if you did enjoy that content, you do like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day.